Hello folks, it's Matthew here again. It's been long awaited, but I'm now going to begin my run of Jeopardy for the PS3. You did see me do this game as part of my Jetty of my Jetio series back in 2013. And I have not done and I have not started to uh, not started a run yet. Currently, I have a one game winning total I know Jeopardy's already in their thirties for seasons. This is Jeopardy. Please welcome our contestant. <laughs> Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. Asian history, 80s music. What planet are you from? Tongue twisters. Let's visit India. Why not? And name the novel. Mm. Player one, where do we start? Where do, what planet are you from for 200? It has seasonal weather patterns and iron-rich minerals in the soil, giving it a distinct red color. Uh, what's Mars? Okay, player one. Woo! Mm -hmm. uh, what Select planet again. are you from for 400? Greater in mass than all the other planets combined. It's surrounded by dozens of moons. Okay, player one. Oh, uh, what is uh, Jupiter? Yeah. That is correct. Uh, we return to you, player one. It's the smallest and densest of the outer gas giants and has an appropriate name, as it has a watery interior. Uh, what's Neptune? It's player one. Yeah. Planet for eight hundred. Its mean distance from the sun is only about 36 million miles. Yes, player one? Uh, what's, uh, Mercury? Woo! Good. All right. We return to Planet you, player for a thousand. one. Bands of debris and ice surround it, as do its satellites, including Titan. Player one? Uh, what is Saturn? Yeah! Oh, gosh. That, oh, good. That was a guess. I thought it was Pluto. You again, player one. Tongue Twisters for 200. She sells seashells by this location. What's the shore? Player one. The seashore. Yeah! That is correct. Select again. Tongue twisters for four. In Hartford, Hereford, and Hampshire, these windy storms hardly ever happen. Let's hear it, player one. What are hurricanes? <laughs> uh, tongue player twisters six hundred. One of these animals sat on a stump, and thunk the stump, stunk. Let's hear it, player one. What is a skunk? Yeah! Sun switches for eight. Player one. These animals shouldn't sleep in a shack. These animals should sleep in a shed. 
Yes, player one. Uh, what are sheep? Ah! Sun switchers for a thousand. One. The sawing a saw I ever saw saw was the saw I saw saw in this land of opportunity state. It's player one. Uh, what is... Arkansas? Ah! Yeah, it goes with the tongue Player twister. one, back to you. Name the novel for 200. 1937. I have chosen Mr. Baggins, and that ought to be enough for all of you. I'm holding off. Player three? A Hobbit? That's right. Okay. There you go. All right, let's get back into this. Player three has control. 1813. Happy for all her maternal feelings was the day Mrs. Bennett got rid of her two most deserving daughters. Mrs. Bennett. Oh, gosh. Okay, player two. Pride and Prejudice? That's right. Oh. A lot of clues, a lot of categories. Player Novel 600. Two. Make us a 1932. In the 4,000 rooms of the center, the 4,000 electric clocks simultaneously struck four. Okay, player one. Uh, what is... Uh, Brave New World? Yeah. Good. <sighs> player one. Name Where the novel 800. 1902. The Horror. It's player one. Uh, what is Heart of Darkness? Woo -hoo! Player okay. one. Novel for a thousand. Ooh, answer there the Daily Double. It's Woo! the Daily Double. And you have the lead. Will it be? I'll do, uh, two thousand. The clue, 1961. Once upon a time, there was a Martian named Valentine Michael Smith. What is the Martian Chronicles? Oh! You were still in first place, but here's the response we were looking for. Stranger? That was my second land. guess. You get to pick again, player 80's one. 80s music, 200. The great Kim band was singing our song, crooning, Our love's in this, baby. Yes, player one. What is Jeopardy? Oh. It's the only no. It's the only one I know from Greg Kin. Player one. Pick 80 again. music for four. In 1984, his "Let's Go Crazy" said, "We are gathered here today to get through this thing called life." Let's hear it, player one. Who is uh, Michael Jackson? No. Oh. Um, Maybe it's Stevie Wonder. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? <clears throat> okay, player three. Is it Stevie Wonder? No, it's not. Well, that narrows it Anyone down. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Yes, player two. Prince. That is correct. Player two, you start Music off. Music 600. She told us, love is a battlefield, and in 1980 went to number nine with, hit me with your best shot. She is one of my favorites. Who is Pat Let's Benatar? That's it, one. Yeah. That's it. All right, let's Eight get back into this. Eight. In 1981, one. Sheena Easton sang, my baby takes the this, he works from nine till five, and then he takes another home again. It's player one. What is the subway? Ooh. No. Anyone else? It's player two. The bus? Nope. Nope. Any well, that other narrows takers? it down. Player three? 
The morning train. Right, you are. Good. Back on the bus side. Player three, you start us 90s, off. 80s music, a thousand. Well, I talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Lips ain't asked. Won't you take me to here? Yes, player three. Los Angeles? Oh. Nope. Sorry. Any other takers? Yes, player two. Funky Town? You. Okay. <laughs> player two, start us. India for 200. Northern India is the birthplace of this religion started by Siddhartha. Yes, player one. What is uh, Buddhism? That's yeah. right, there you go. Player uh, one, India for 400. Lead. Under the East India Company and then the government, this country ruled most of India until 1947. Yes, player one. Uh, what is England? <laughs> All right. Player one, choose again. India 600. In India, a mahout is a keeper of these animals. It's player one. Uh, what, is, what are elephants? Woo! Good. Player one, back India, to you. India Eden Gardens in Calcutta is the world's largest stadium for this sport, popular in India. Let's hear it, player two. Cricket? Right. Mm. Where do we begin, player two? India 1000. He was India's first prime minister. Yes, player one? Who is Nehru? Yep. Yeah. Player one, Asian history, you start us off. 800. In 1782, when Chao Praya Chakri became King Rama I, he moved his capital across the river to this city. Player three. Bangkok. Good for you and you're back into some money. Player three, you start. Asian history, 200. In the 1920s, the Kemalists opposed the Sultan in this country and eventually prevailed. Yes, player one. Uh, what is... Turkey? Yeah. Player one, where do Asian we start? Asian history, a thousand. Kelly will present this clue. These nomadic horsemen, who overran most of Asia in the Middle Ages, lived in portable lattice tents known as yurts. Player three? Kurgans? That's not it. No. Nope. Anyone else? Yes, player one? Uh, what are the Mongols? <laughs> yeah! Player one, pick again. 600. In 1739, the peacock throne built for Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan was stolen by these people. Let's hear it, player three. The Persians? You are out of the hole. And we'll Last wrap up one? the board with this clue. In December of 1946, he attacked the French at Tonkin beginning a war that ended eight years later. Yes, player one? Who was... Who was, uh... Mao Zedong? Oh. No, no, it's gotta be Ho Chi Minh then. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? The correct response is Ho Chi Minh. Yep. That's all right.
Photography. All of me. Awards and honors. And the essence of things. All right, let's get back into this. Player three has come. If you boil these before Cooking making class. them into hash browns, they'll stick together better and cook faster, too. It's player one. Oh, uh, what are potatoes? Layer one. Cooking you class for 800. Off. To make bunny salad, use a chilled pear half for the bunny's body and a ball of cottage cheese for this appendage. Yes, player one? Uh, what is the tail? Yes! Right, cooking class for 12. Joy of Cooking suggests using these Thanksgiving berries in any recipes calling for red currants. Okay, player one. Uh, what are what are cranberries? Yes. <laughs> Select again. Cooking class sixteen hundred. <laughs> one of the three doubles. You are in the lead right now. So, what's your wager? I'll take forty-six hundred. Here is your clue. The Chicken of the Sea website suggests making enchiladas with the albacore type of this. What is tuna? That puts you even further ahead. Layer one. Cooking you class for 2000. Two. For the silver dollar type of these breakfast treats, drop the batter onto the griddle one tablespoon at a time. What are pancakes? Let's hear it, layer one. Yeah! That is correct. We return to you, player one. Um, let's try all of me for 400. With some smarts, you'll know this popular name for the third molars. Let's hear it, player one. Uh, what are wisdom teeth? Yeah! Oh, you're right. You again, player one. All of me one. for 800. The body's growth and development are controlled by these substances secreted by the endocrine glands. It's player one. Uh, what are hormones? Yeah, that's correct. We return to All you, player 1. Scoliosis affects the spine. Scleritis affects the sclera, found in this body part. What is the eye? Let's hear it, player one. Oh. All right. You get to pick again, player one. Stick out your tongue and say, ah, and this fleshy bit hanging from the soft palate should move upwards. Oh, gosh. We're talking about the uvula. Oh, the uvula, all right. Please pick again, player one. These proteins found in blood plasma are classified as alpha, beta, or gamma. It's player one. What are... Al... Albumins? Oh. oh, no. Any other takers? But I still have a pretty decent lead. We're talking about globulins. Globulins. Select again. The essence of things for 400. A covering for the blade of a knife. What's well, a sheath? Okay, player one. Woo you get to pick again, essence player for 800. one. You'll be a contender if you know this term for a boxer who jabs with his right. Yes, player one. Uh, what is a slugger? Oh, no. Southpaw is the Anyone person else want who's left-handed. Yes, 
Yes, player two. It's definitely not southpaw. That's it. Oh, it is southpaw. Okay. Player two, you start. That's since 1200. The deliberate destruction of property or equipment by resistance fighters or enemy agents. Let's hear it, player three. Sabotage? Hmm. <laughs> Player three, where do we start? That's in 1600. Old school inhalant to give you a nicotine rush. Yes, player one? Uh, what is a snuff? Whoa! Oh, you're right. Player one? That's in 2000. From the Urdu for soldier, it was an Indian native who served in the British Army in the 1800s. Okay, player three. Sour? That's Aww. not ever no. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's the correct response. A sepoy. Sepoy. Please pick again, player one. Photography for 400. Men at Work is a 1932 book containing Lewis Hines' 1930 photos chronicling the construction of this skyscraper. Okay, player one. Uh, what is... The Sears Tower? Oh, no. Any other takers? Player two. Chrysler building? Sorry. Man. Well, that narrows it down. Any other takers? It's player three. That was yes. my second guess, the Empire State Building. Player three, where do we start? Photography 800. It's the camera lens attachment that allows for a 180 degree wide angle view. Yes, player one. Uh, what is Cat's Eye Lens? Oh, no. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Some of you guys are probably at your yes, computers right now seeing the answers, but really, you <laughs> are not as skilled on some of these other categories. Player two, where do we start? Photography 1200. In 1907, two French brothers with this last name marketed their autochrome glass plates to produce color photos. Player two. Lumiere? That's oh, Lumiere. yeah. You again, player two. Photography 1600. From the Latin for to open, it's the camera part that controls the intensity of light striking the film. Yes, player two. Shutter? Oh. No. Nope. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Player one? Uh, what is the lens? No. Oh, oh that narrows it down then. Any other takers? Let's hear it, player three. Aperture, yep. <laughs> well, good. Back on the plus side. All right, let's get back into this. Photography Player 2000. Three has her first photo essay appeared in Esquire in 1960. Much of her work thereafter depicted human oddities. Yes, Player One? Who is Margaret Bork White? Uh, no! Anyone oh else goodness. here to try to come up with a correct response? Here's what we were looking for, Diane Arbus. Mm. We return to you, player three. Politicians 400. This former senator was the first African-American president of the Harvard Law Review. This is something I know nothing about. Here's what we wanted, Barack Obama. Oh. 
Player three, back to you for our next selection. In 2004, this North Carolinian was almost the vice president-elect. We're talking about John Edwards. Oh. Player three, back to you for our next selection. Before Second he was New York City 100. mayor, he was the U.S. attorney who prosecuted the mafia in the Pizza Connection case. Let's hear it, player one. Who is... Uh, Giuliani? Woo, All right. Right. Player one, a war is you're in command of the board as people. People who need Peabody's envy her for the Peabody Award she won for her 1994 HBO concert. The correct response is Barbara Streisand. Mm. Select again. Oh, funny girl and funny lady, yeah. Awards and honors for 800. This actor dedicated his American Beauty Oscar to his friend Jack Lemmon, who had inspired him. We're talking about Kevin Spacey. Oh. Player one. Awards and honors 1200. For the musical Sunset Boulevard, Hugh Jackman won two Mo Awards equivalent to the Tonys, in this, his native country. Let's hear it, player three. Australia? <laughs> okay. A lot of clues, a lot of categories, player three. Make it the JFK Profile in Courage Award is modeled after a lantern from this frigate built in 1790s Boston. Okay, player one. Uh, what is the Enterprise? Oh, sorry. No. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Yes, player three. Yes. Constitution, yep. You get to pick again, player Awards three. and honors for 2,000. And there's the other Daily Double. And the other Daily Double. You're in second right now. Charles 600 Mike's only. Major. Answer. Washington, D.C.'s theater awards are named for this first lady of the American theater. Mary Pickford? Sorry. Oh. Nope. That's right. Here's what we were looking for. Helen Hayes. Oh. Player three, back to you for our 1600. next selection. We hope Silvestri Reyes can keep secrets. In 2007, he became chair of the House Permanent Select Committee on this. Let's hear it, player two. Intelligence? <laughs> okay. Here's the $2,000 clue. This former Massachusetts governor was CEO of the 2002 Winter Olympics in Salt Lake City. It's player three. Mitt Romney? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't matter. All three of you will participate in Final Jeopardy right after this. It's a runaway game for me. Welcome back, guys. Camera ran out of film room, but I have 13-4 compared to 50, player three's 5400. Player two has. We've got a final Jeopardy round here for you, and today it features this category: 19th century authors. Okay. So what's your wager? Let's take a look at that final Jeopardy clue right now. In 1833. A French historian said that this author had built a cathedral as solid as the foundations of the other one.
come up with the correct response? Victor Hugo. With that correct yep. response, you will win. $1,205, taking her to 5405 Did you come up with the correct response? Yep, Victor Hugo. With that correct wrote response, Ladies are on. you will gain. 200 only, taking her to 5600 and I got it right. How much do you have in your total? And I was 1600 so it can be to 15 grand, and that gives me a two day total of 25,200. You champion. Good game. Thank you so much for playing. Guys again for game three.